Gwen Bell, and I'd like to welcome the Clark alumni on behalf of the Computer History Museum. I owe a debt of gratitude and special appreciation to Clark for the opportunity to hone my critical thinking skills while working on my PhD. It may seem odd that someone with a PhD in geography would be founder of the Computer History Museum. This is best understood by knowing that I grew up in Prairie du Chien, Wisconsin at the confluence of the Mississippi and Wisconsin rivers, where in 1672 Marquette and Joliet were the Europeans who discovered the Mississippi. The town itself was almost a museum. The unique geography of this area lies on the Eastern Continental Divide, providing an ideal meeting area for Native American tribes from the surrounding areas. There are numerous ceremonial mounds which were a focal point of trade for the indigenous peoples of the Mississippi River watershed. Prairie du Chien was the farthest north that the Spanish explored. It is one of the few places that the Spanish, French, British, and United States flags were flown successively. The unique aspect of this geography contributed to the abundance of wildlife. Many early American trappers made their fortunes there. John Jacob Astor became a multimillionaire by trading beaver pelts in the late 1700s. In the fall, when the great migration of birds began along the Mississippi Flyway, the sky was black with birds. In the wintertime, the waterfowl provided such a source of food that young boys were excused from the first couple of hours of school so that they could hunt duck and geese for their families. My love for history and geography began early in my childhood. As a young girl, my father organized tours for groups of people coming up from Chicago, and I would accompany him. In 1944, there was a labor shortage due to the Second World War. At the age of 10, I began working as a tour guide at the Villa Louis, a Victorian era estate and museum. I made as much as $5 an hour, a fairly decent wage for child labor. I struggled for the rest of my life to equal that salary. Through these experiences, I first began to see the intertwining of geography and history, especially preserving it for others. After graduating from the University of Wisconsin, I applied to the University of Chicago where I wanted to take my love of geography and history and start a career in city planning. Rexford Tugwell, who was one of the chief intellectual contributors to FDR's New Deal, developed the planning program at the university. After being admitted, I received a letter informing me that Tugwell had passed away and that the only similar program was offered at Harvard. And to my amazement, I was admitted there. While at Harvard, I was offered a Fulbright scholarship to Australia, where I planned the town of Colliambly in a new irrigation area. This irrigation project transformed the ge geography of the area from what was once a desert into a farming community. I met Gordon Bell, who was on a Fulbright as well from MIT. He proposed to me via computer. We honeymooned in India and were married shortly thereafter. During my last semester at Harvard, I realized the importance of geography and came to Clark for my PhD. Gordon was working at Digital Equipment Corporation in Maynard. Digital had just purchased a new building from the defunct computer company RCA. It had an enormous and beautiful lobby. In 1979, we used this space to create a museum that would show off the computers and calculators that we had been collecting. We also invited the creators of Pioneer Software and computers from around the world to speak in order to preserve their stories. So the roots of the museum were established right there in Marlboro. Our neighbor was Mike Spock, the son of Dr. Spock, who ran a children's museum in Boston. In 1983, the museum above his went out of business, 
and Mike approached Ken Olson, the president of Digital, with a proposal to move the Computer Museum to Boston. In a serendipitous manner, my childhood love of history, my travels around the world as a Fulbright, my marriage to computer scientist Gordon Bell, and my experience with geography at Clark University combined to give me, and I hope others, a broader view of the world. It also provided the basis for collecting and preserving the artifacts and stories for this wonderful and unique place, the Computer History Museum.